My name is Kyle Tufel, and I'm a New York Sea Grant launch steward. New York Sea Grant is participating in a statewide effort in creating a program that educates motorized and non-motorized boaters on how to slow the spread of aquatic invasive species. This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to quickly inspect your boat before entering or leaving a body of water. By doing this, we can protect our local waters, a valuable resource for generations to come. We start our inspection at the motor, where aquatic plants and animals often stow away on your boat. Make sure you check your propeller, lower unit, and intake pipe for any plants, such as Eurasian water milfoil or animals like zebra mussels. Be sure to check any place where invasive species can get caught, including sonar equipment and trim tabs. From there, remove any plant or animal material and properly dispose of it. Next, we move on to the trailer. When retrieving your boat from the water, make sure you check where your boat and trailer meet. This is where aquatic debris will often get stuck. Don't forget to check your overall trailer, including the tires and axles, tail lights, wiring, and license plate, rollers, winch, and the spare tire and hitch. There are many places on your boat where aquatic organisms could be found after retrieval. Make sure you check your hull, floor, and anchor for any plant or animal remains. Be sure to check your boat along the seams, uneven surfaces, and between the boat and the trailer. This is where aquatic organisms will often get stuck. Be sure to clean anything that comes in contact with the water, including clothes, pets, and any sort of equipment you might have, such as tubes, water skis, or ropes. Besides inspecting your boat, emptying your live well, bilge, or any water that your boat takes on before leaving a launch helps slow the spread of microscopic invasives, such as the spiny water flea, fishhook water flea, and the larvae of zebra and quagga mussels. Please drain your boat at the launch you retrieved from. This ensures that the water does not enter a different watershed. A great way to slow the spread of any invasive species is to clean your boat after each use. This can be completed by using soap with hot water of at least 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And a note for our anglers out there, please be sure to clean your live well after each use. Properly disposing of your bait fish in the trash or an invasive species disposal station and not in the water or on dry land helps slow the spread of aquatic borne viruses and diseases such as viral hemorrhagic septicemia, also known as VHS. Finally, be sure to clean any fishing gear, landing nets, waders, and especially felt bottom boots. This helps to slow the spread of organisms such as spiny water fleas or diatoms called vitimo, also known as rock snot. After using a kayak or canoe, it is important to go through a similar inspection process. Make sure you remove any plant or animal remains you find in or on your boat, as well as emptying any water you might have taken on. Clearing and drying not only your boat, but your gear and paddles are great ways to slow the spread of nuisance aquatic organisms. For personal watercraft users, such as jet skis and wave runners, it is important to check your intake on the bottom of your personal watercraft, where plant and animal debris often get caught. Don't forget to check your trailer and personal watercraft body and empty any water you might have taken on. Another trick to slow the spread of unwanted aquatic pests is drying your boat by hand or allowing five days for it to air dry. This amount of time will allow aquatic organisms to die off. If you do remove any organisms from your trailer or boat, you can either place them in the trash, on dry land away from any water, drains, and vehicle traffic, or better yet, look around for an invasive species disposal station. Located at several public launches, these stations are there for the collection and proper disposal of invasives and not common litter. The proper disposal of aquatic invasive species helps protect valuable habitat for native plants and animals, such as fish and waterfowl. So in conclusion, please remember these three things. One, clean and inspect your boat 
for any sort of plant or animal material and dispose of it properly. Two, be sure to drain any sort of water from your boat, including your bilge and your live well. And three, dry your boat after every use. Thank you, and please have a clean and safe boating experience.